Okay, well, here it is. This is how I first clapped eyes on it in Liverpool. Not pretty sound, a bit tired looking. And uh, looking around it, I could see one or two things non standard silences, uh, no badges. Someone slapped some black paint on, but uh, anyway, we got it home and uh, I started to mess about with the seating position because I've got a bit of a dodgy knee and started a closer look around it. Uh, first of all, hmm, quite a few scratches. Um, paintwork needs cleaning up and tidying up and that black paint paint that black oh dear that black paint how am I gonna get that off well time for a Tupperware party so everything comes off and um, next thing is uh, you'll see that these two panels that were painted matte black uh, the only way I could clean them up was with cellulose thinners neat just applied it with a brush and mopped it off more or less straight away until I got all the all the black out of the grain of the plastic. It didn't damage the plastic, but there was there were some cracks and holes in the plastic that needed repairing and filling. Um, also, this hinge was broken on the bodywork as well, which I managed to successfully repair and repainted that panel. This panel, uh, it's the other side of it, had a great big hole in it, melted and I've managed to repair that and the hinge on that side and there's the end result so it doesn't look too bad now you can see where I've been painting it okay two things to look at here first the radiator you can see the paint's coming off and uh, not going to do the aluminium which good but look at the disc can you see the brown it's burnt it had been overheating and warped the disc so it was shaped like a dinner plate Fortunately, I managed to get a new disc from my uh, local pan breakers. Now, looking at the disc on the other side of the wheel, you'll see that it's a nice clean silver. By the way, these are not original equipment discs. Now, uh, just by the wheel rim at the top there, there's a bracket coming out of the fork leg. In it is a sleeve with a inside a roller bearing, a needle roller bearing. All the rollers were missing. I managed to get uh, new parts but it was a hell of a job fitting it back in because it needed to be pressed in and I had to devise something uh, using a threaded uh, bolt and uh, sockets. Now in this photo you see the thermostat housing and uh, two uh, the hoses, two of which were leaking at the clamps so I renewed the clamps, checked the hoses, they were in pretty good condition, took out the thermostat, checked it and put it all back together. Here you can see the radiator corrosion. The radiator came out and was cleaned up and repainted. That meant uh, fixing the fan brackets and painting the fan as well. But here you can see in the next shot you can see what it looks like when it's all put back together. Uh, while the radiator was out I replaced the camshaft belt and the um, idler pulley and the tensioner pulley. Um, the belt cost me about 18 or 19 pound. It's a Gates belt, not a Honda belt, um, and it uh, it works fine. Now, of course, before I did all this work, I did uh, pressure wash it and uh, sprayed it with silicon, so it looks a bit better, as you can see here. Now, look at the back end. You'll see the upper top part there. The framework has been uh, cleaned up and repainted. But the uh, shock absorber, the rear final drive and the rear wheel look a bit tired. Also on that side looks pretty grubby and tired. So um, it's all going to come out and be t sorted out. Here's another view of the bike after uh, I've done a bit of work on it. And uh, there you can see the radiator. Um, looking a bit cleaner underneath. Uh, oh yes, this, here's the thermostat. This has been cleaned up and the thermostat checked and uh, new clips put on. Here's the, re here's the seat. I modified this because it wasn't uh, high enough for me uh, because of a knee problem, so I recovered it myself. Okay, before anyone says anything, no, I don't live in Liverpool. I took the wheels off to be painted. 
and in the next shot you'll see that I started painting. There's my little compressor that I used. A uh, base coat followed by a gloss, uh, gloss coat. Uh, that was all it was really. Original colour so uh, no problems matching or anything. And um, whilst I was at it, oh the, the rear wheel was a spare I got from the breakers because the original was a bit too far gone. But whilst I was at it I thought well as the calipers are off I may as well give them a coat of paint because they were the same colour. So they got painted and the fly seems to approve of them and uh, then I thought well those discs don't look right so I decided to paint the centres black. Now that is actually black but it doesn't look it in that photo for some reason. Okay here's the rear swing arm and non trouble spot but it doesn't look too bad in this case. A wire brush clean up and a uh, coat of paint and uh, it's fine. Now original on the left and a replacement final drive on the right. 42,000 miles on the new one and then we come to the rear swinging arm again without the final drive you can see that I've exposed it and uh, it's ready for painting. Now uh, the next photograph shows the wheels replaced and the shock absorber tidied up a bit beginning to come together even a few panels tried trial fitting. Um, the swinging arm had been painted and the uh, new discs fitted and there's a close-up. Now at the same time I'd been preparing the uh, Tupperware, the plastics, the paintwork on them and everything and one thing was that the next panel was painted blue originally and it should have been black so I've repainted it black, put a correct sticker on it but there were some tabs missing on it and so I repaired them with little strips of aluminium super glued on and hooked underneath, oh well, hooked to the, the headlight and here it is back in position and uh, now looking original because when I bought the bike it was painted the same colour blue as the rest of the bodywork which is wrong. And here's how the bike looks now basically. I've put a cargo net on the seat because uh, raising the height for, for me made it look a bit slab like so I wanted to break up the line of the seat with the cargo net. I'll put some stickers on it and uh, to make it look a bit more original and here's the black brake disc that uh, I mentioned earlier. Here's a view from behind with a pan-european sticker on the top box and an extra silver stripe. Uh, the silencers are off for an Aprilia. Previous owner did that and of course it's an ongoing project really but uh, I think the bike looks a hell of a lot better now than it did when I first bought it. And uh, I've got the satisfaction of knowing that the bike will run a bit better now. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little slideshow. And uh, if you're interested in uh, a pan-European ST1100, then maybe that has influenced you in some way. It's not a difficult bike to work on. And uh, because of the plastic panels, in some cases, it makes things a lot easier. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.